the girl whose hair grows longer and faster than the girls who are in the live talking about me, that girl. Do y'all even have Cantu like shampoo and conditioner in South Africa? Like, do y'all even know how to like wash your own hair? Cause y'all probably do. Cause I know how y'all dye y'all hair blonde. Y'all get that cow to piss on your head so it turns blonde. I don't do that backwards. I just go give me some dark and lovely. Do y'all know what this brand is? No, I'm sure you don't. Cheap. They going off of me. Tell them to learn how to grow their hair first. I bet you their hair don't go long like this. And that's not because I'm mixed. That's because I'm black American. Y'all before my black American mama, her hair grows. See, because a lot of y'all don't know them South African girls, their hair don't grow. And that's why they be jealous of African American women. Because African American women, their hair grow. Them, them South African girls, they be bald headed. And they be wearing them cheap, take a bow, shut up and drive. I'm going to rehab wigs. Them wigs, them cheap wigs, that quick weave. They be country. I'm country when I talk, but them be country with how they dress and how they style their hair. Well, they wigs because they be bald headed. Gray be too tough. It ain't gonna take. Warm this up. Put that in your scalp. Let it sit for a second. Then wash it out. Oh, it look damaged. I don't take. I don't care because I know you're South African. I wish I would let a South African tell me if my hair is damaged or not, knowing that your hair don't even grow. But that's the thing, y'all talking about processed bleach, but y'all hair can't even take bleach. You South, you Zulu. Y'all shit brittle without any product. Like I said, let's do a competition. Let's see who hair can get down to here by December. Because once again, I said my hair grow not because I'm mixed. My hair grow because I'm black American mixed. I'm not Doja Cat South African mixed. That's a bald head because she's half South African. Let me show y'all what y'all people look like. This is what y'all people look like. See how she bald headed? It's not by choice. She bald headed because it don't grow. She got that Zulu bloodline. It make her not grow. And see how her features look? Oh, girl. Features don't even set right. He just kept on going. His Asian parts came out real quick with that strong anti-blackness, texturism, fissurism, like my goodness. First things first, shout out to Oluwa Sheson for sending this story in. Shout out to David as well. He sent this story in. David wanted us to please know that this guy isn't a representative of the black American community. David was like, nope, this guy doesn't speak for the rest of us. Whatever it is he has going right now, it's an individual problem. Trust me when I say, brother, we know he doesn't represent the rest of you. See, as an African, as a black person, I understand very well how we just have some people in our community who just like to bring our leg out and try to rep us in ways that we don't want to be represented. It's crazy, but it happens. And this is where maturity has to come in for us to not lose focus as a people, for us to not let people like this distract us from what the real goal is, from what you know we truly are pursuing and where our minds are supposed to be at. Because all of these, in my humble opinion, are just distractions. Because see the way I see it, black people or mixed people who come online and behave like this, they don't know what their problem is. If you truly know what your problem is in this life, if you truly know where they pain you, 
you would not be on the internet behaving like this or hell you would not even in real life be acting like this towards a fellow black person regardless of what community the person is from whether it's from the african community or whether it's from the caribbean community or whether it's from the you know african american community or black american community if as a black person you are acting like this online or offline towards another black person you truly don't know what your problem is in this life and i don't know if any other person noticed but there is this subtle you know attempt i see from his um delivery of him trying to pit african women or south african women rather against african american women or black american women it's there like the comparison the this and that that's how you see that um women across the board will start having beef with one another we have come too far as a people we cannot let this kind of people be coming in and trying to ruin the good thing that we are trying to build here people who uphold colonial constructs uphold colonial mindsets uphold the you know ideals of the colonizers like what are you doing in the community you want to be a colonizer so bad go and meet them like the entire thing is just so ignorant like why are you showing your calvin Klein on the screen and asking us about the brand like what and then he was asking if they have shampoo and conditioner in south africa like guy are you being for real asking if south africans even know how to wash their own hair the entire thing is just so ignorant and pointless like okay after doing this now what did you get from it what did you achieve nothing like you just successfully with your own two hands plastered yourself in history on the same internet that we know doesn't forget this is how you want to put yourself online for life some people shy. this one is just a distraction let's not let people like this come in between this good thing we're trying to build here let's not let these people distract us from you know what the true goal is we we don't need this divide and conquer mm -mm. this this versus that what you have versus what this person don't have or how you mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. distraction 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 like you don't really know where they pain you me i'm an african i'm a black person that knows where it pains me in this life so i'm very focused to People like this, me, I don't have their time. And also, you should go and do some inner work. Because I see people who act like this as people who don't fully really love themselves. Because here's the thing. If you are in tuned, 100% in tuned with who you are as a person and you are contented with the person that you are, you love yourself and you embrace yourself you would not be online or offline disparaging other people's looks appearances hair texture features you would not be doing that people who act like this need to go sit down in a corner and do some introspection sit down with yourself talk to yourself ask yourself what is your problem because this obviously is coming from a place of deep-rooted self-hatred of some sort and he actually did admit that he battles with self-hatred in one of his videos on tiktok where he was talking about the uk let's roll that part of the clip please because my thing is what i look like defending a place that caused me nothing but trauma is the exact reason why i don't like my skin tone my nose my hair texture all this this country did all this to, to, to black people but y'all would sit here in the comments and defend some of y'all ancestors would slap y'all across y'all face spitting a hand and slap you across your face yeah good old self-hatred internalized racism internalized anti-blackness that's where all of this is coming from he needs to chill go to therapy surround himself with some love and positivity and heal and stop doing what he's doing because trust me his black african ancestors are rolling in the grave watching him acts the way he's acting they want to spit on their hands and slap him across the face my goodness so when i see him malfoy carrying himself in this manner i'm like this is sad and from the bottom of my heart i really really hope that him and people like him who suffer from these issues internalized racism anti-blackness self-hatred all of these issues i hope and i wish that him and people like him can find the healing that they need and one day come to term with the fact that they are who they are and it's okay to be this person and learn to love themselves and appreciate themselves and find beauty in themselves like it's one life man 
and it's going to be too too sad for one to go about their entire lives feeling this bad about themselves but guys let me know exactly what your thoughts are as always thank you very much for watching and of course i would see you guys in the next one don't don't let people like this distract you let's stay on cold one love guys one love this one's mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. This one British or American content creator started coming for Zulu people. And if there's one demographic in South Africa that you do not come for, it is Mazulu. Ordinarily, I'd say I totally Zulu people can fight for themselves. However, and then to say that South Africans have bad hair. And I say Zulu people can fight for themselves, not because I'm being ethno nationalist or tribalist, it's because I genuinely know. That these are the people that refused to become slaves so much that British people had to go get slaves and indentured laborers from India to KwaZulu Natal so that they can work on sugarcane farms when there was labor there the whole time. These are the same Zulu people that fought Sandrani, Fetani, Kotababusiwu, all these places, all these wars, back to back to back to back. The same people who founded Ngat. Do you know the Zulu king? Do you know what the Zulu king has to do to get initiated? He has to kill a lion. Also, to make a texturist argument where you're comparing African American and South African hair. Mm -mm. That is very colonial, babe. Because even African Americans are trying to deconstruct and decolonize the texturist comments that are permeating within black communities in the United States. And South Africans are doing the same for our country. Even the featureism coming for South African features South African plastic And then Imba or or Remoro no Rebab.